All right, well, hey there, everybody. I'm in a beautiful, in a very old part of Lachine here in Montreal, and uh, that body of water down there, that's the uh, Riviere de Prairie. And uh, besides the old church here, intersecting uh, Saint Joseph Boulevard right here, or La Rue Saint Joseph, Saint Joseph Street, I guess, and uh, Broadway, which is right here. Now, back in the day, up until the end of streetcar service in 1959 in Montreal, uh, I'll just sit right here next to these roses. The uh, 91 streetcar line. Ah, get the fuck out of here. There's a goddamn wasp right here. Shit. Or a fucking bee. Anyway, so right here, this is where the 91 route would end. Okay? And the 91 would end here and start here and go all the way downtown to Plus Derm. And apparently, uh, you know, it took 20 minutes. I don't know how the fuck that's possible. Maybe I got my information confused or something. But, however, in 1938, what I found much more interesting and surprising was that there was a 92 extension line which started here. And basically it was a continuation of the 91 route which went all the way here. Made a right right here on 45th, uh, 45th Avenue. Go ahead sir, Alizy, go ahead there. And uh, so that's it. So here we go. So the streetcar would turn right here, 92 line extension. And... Uh, when I found this out here on some history of Lachine on a website, on a streetcar enthusiast, I thought it would have gone all the way to Victoria Street, which is the next street down there, but actually it doesn't. So more on that in a moment. Okay, this video is entailing a lot of walking, which is okay for me, but uh, I'm going uphill and it's goddamn hot and humid today. But still better than winter. So anyway, here I am on the street after 45th, which is parallel. This is 46th Avenue. And um, right there, that's Victoria. Okay. L'Avenue Victoria. Still machine, of course. Now, you see this path here? Okay. Goddamn new Canada Post boxes there. Fucking bullshit. This path here was the streetcar line for the 92 extension route between 1938 and 1952. Now, because it ended in 52, most of these houses were built after that. Like this one, for example, which looks like it was built in the 70s, probably. The path would continue on right down there, right to 45th. So the streetcar line would come up 45th Avenue, turn here, go right across here, and right down there. So we're going to press on now. Show you more. I find it's one of the most interesting, historical, not so well-known facts of this city. And, this, and in fact, this line, up until 52, was the most western line there was in service. Now, this is where it gets interesting right here. Okay? Now, matter of fact, notice how it's paved here? Yeah, I think this actually was in fact, this is where the streetcar tracks were right here and went to 45th and made a right on 45th heading to Broadway and St. Joseph. Now, this is where it gets even more interesting. Now check this out. There's a sidewalk here, you see? Now, if you see a path anywhere in the burbs, why would there be a sidewalk? Not only that... Oh my god, look at all the fucking construction going on over there. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Anyway, and check out these old ass electrical poles. Right here. Electrical poles are next to sidewalks usually went. In the old days, usually there was a street. And look at the street here. As a matter of fact, this is more interesting to me now because... Because of the fact that I came here last winter, but... Or spring, and there was too much water, and you really couldn't see shit, you know? So... And look at that. Look at the pole sound. Now they're not even next to the fucking sidewalk anymore. You know? So, which leads me to believe either the streetcar tracks... I don't think were right here. They could have been. They were probably right here. See? And this goes on, man. This is not a long line. But it was a line that was determined to be necessary in this area because it was in full development. And uh, what really killed the line was the advent of, of course, diesel buses because they could maneuver more and go further. And as you know, 
as I mentioned before and even in other videos, streetcar service in Montreal ended in the summer of 59. So we'll go a little further here. I'll show you the whole thing, man. Oh, this is a fucking surprise. I didn't expect this at all, man. Lachine is, of course, the oldest part of Montreal, so not surprisingly, they got to redo the fucking pipes here eventually. And as I was walking up to this construction, I thought to myself, fuck, what if they found some of the fucking tracks that were here? But judging how recessed everything is here, and they already dug it up part of the street, I don't think they found any fucking tracks, probably, eh? So, anyway, here we are now at 48th Avenue, which is uh, <laughs> experiencing some uh, serious... Uh, digging up there and it's funny because that street was in horrible condition so they uh they, it's good that they're doing this looking to see if by any chance they dug up any tracks here i don't think so eh? uh, they must have removed them probably years ago or i should say fucking decades ago anyway this is rené huguet okay and uh this is the street i used to whoa Man, fuck, no fucking backup lights on that mother <laughs> Anyway, this is a street I walk all the time to go to my uh, mom and stepfather's place. And uh, what's that fucking truck I see down there? What is that? Is that a Mac R series? What? No, probably not. I think that's a Kenworth I filmed earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been nice if there were some traces of evidence of those streetcar tracks, you know? Oh, fuck. Is that an old Ford L9000? Oh, it's an old Ford L9000. This Sir e Bob, still working its ass off, eh? Yeah, this is uh, 49th Avenue, and this is where I go off and have supper uh, with my mom and my stepfather. I always feel blessed, man, that I've got great family. You know, I don't have a ton of friends. The friends, the best, the friends I have are my best friends. So that's three of them. And uh, I'll be coming back here in a few minutes. I'm gonna be there in about 20 minutes or so. I got a nice old Ford L9000 here. Yeah. Sintra. That's a tanker truck? Weird. Why would you make a tanker truck look all squared off like that? That's strange. And there's all the new pipes they're going to install. Yeah. Now I know why the 191 bus was on detour. Oh, yeah. And incidentally, for those of you who are not familiar with transit in Montreal and buses, the, uh, the 191, of course, even after the streetcars were limited after 59, eventually the 91 route, not long after actually, I think into the 60s, became the 191. I know because I, I happened to actually score earlier this year a fucking uh, uh, 1963 uh, Montreal bus transit map. And I'm going to have to uh, show you guys that one day. So <clears throat> I'm going to walk to the end of the street and I'm going to show you the end of the line for the long gone... Lachine 92 extension rig. I forgot to mention something crucial about my uh, little video here is that you see This is an old suburban neighborhood, right? You're looking at it. You can see these houses appear to have all been really built 50s 60s about that and uh, <clears throat> I never would have thought in a million years that there was a streetcar line on this street You know is that the 191 and speaking of the 191 Ironically, that's the 191. So imagine that back in the day here, between 1938 and 52, this area was so old that you had streetcar service. Continuation of the 91 line. Uh, to have a fucking time machine, oh my God. You know, I'd love to see a photo of this area back then. Okay, now you see I'm walking here and we're getting into older houses here. So you see this is, uh, this is crucial to this video actually. And that's why this line was added, because there's a bunch of really old houses built, uh, I would say, uh, in the 40s and earlier. Uh, like after these streets here. Okay, maybe these ones aren't that old, but... Yeah, some of these, there's... Okay, some of these were built in the 50s and maybe after, but some of them are older. So I'm just looking here. Typical old streets. Hey, look, at, look, look at that one, see? Hey, that's probably like 30s, 40s, for sure. You know? Look, there's another one there. There's a few of them, actually. You know? Yeah, it's fascinating, man. As much as the city drives me nuts, you know, for so many reasons, 
will always love its historical aspect, especially also when it comes to public transportation. It's just rich in it. So if there was a streetcar line back in service, especially like San Francisco, to say, you know, vintage streetcars, that would be incredible. Even if the fucking parts would have to be made to keep those streetcars running regularly. Because at Expo Rail, at Expo Rail, the Expo Rail Museum, Railway Museum in uh, uh, Saint Constant, Quebec, they have tons of old streetcars, fuck. And, uh, you know, they all, most of them need, a lot of them need to be restored. You know? So, fucking me running, I never noticed something here. Look at this. Is it, is it near? Does that look vintage? They never changed this sign. Most of the other signs in Lachine were changed. Again, old houses. Eh, I don't know how old these ones are. Don't look too old. You know? Getting near the end here. Man, people are fucking paranoid. I can't believe it, man. This guy just fucking drove up to me. He drove all the way here to ask me why I filmed this house. The house you saw that, uh, you know, there was a brownstone house. Very nice, very, uh, you know, lots of uh, flowers and trees and stuff. And, uh, uh, God almighty. This is the price to pay for being me. This is the price to pay sometimes for being an eccentric, for filming things. Let alone, forget about taking pictures, filming things. People, you know, they, they're going to question, man. This guy, he, this guy is fucking convinced I was a fucking robber. And I even told him that my mom and my stepfather live on 49th Avenue, which is just a few blocks over there. And uh, he's like, he's like, what's the address? What's the address and all this, you know? I'm starting to get fucking mad, you know? Like, I feel like saying, hey, fuck off, man, really, you know? Jesus, I gave you my card. I mean, you can, you know, so you know that I'm on the level. I had the business cards made primarily so that people, they, they, they dig right away that there's no bullshit with me, that I'm not a fucking crook. I don't, I'm not out to rob people. I'm not out to fuck people over and, and commit fraud. You know? Christ. Uh, I'm telling you, man. That's the way things are today, though. You know, in the old fucking days, if you were taking pictures of whatever, whoever fucking uh, filming, Nobody would have fucking thought any different, but this is the big city, man, and people are paranoid. Oh, fuck yeah, man, you know? Things are gonna go fucking rob his house. I don't give a shit. I mean, it's a nice house and everything and nice flowers, but I don't fucking care. What do I care? I gave my business card, you know? Fuck, man. I told him, I said, you got fucking internet? Go check out my channel. You're gonna say I got over 4,000 subscribers. You're gonna see it's on the level. It's very different. I got all kinds of vehicles showing. <sighs> yes, I'm sensitive. I am sensitive. I had a bad feeling that was going to happen too, man. I said, oh man, you know, I got to show this guy's fucking house. And he's working out there. He's probably going to see me. And uh, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, fuck, I need to show that house. That's where the fucking streetcar la line ran prior to before his house was built. You know? Anyway, so uh, to finish off the video, here we are at 56th Avenue and René Huguet in Lachine. And, so this is where the uh, streetcar line would end. And as I mentioned probably already three, four times, this streetcar line ended service in 1952, the year my mom was born. And uh, look at that, look at all that overgrowth on the pole in that line, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that something, well you don't see that very often, eh? And I think it's kind of ironic at this point also to point out the fucking scrap STM bus that's coming here. You know, in which we're talking about over, you know, 60, almost over 60 years ago that this line, the streetcar line was abandoned and replaced by buses. And the fucking buses and the streetcar lines were all way more comfortable than that piece of junk. You know, think about that. Better be uh, sitting on a fucking wooden bench inside a streetcar and ride that piece of fucking junk. There, right, I'm gonna ask this guy casually. Hey, you like those buses? Not comfortable, eh? Yeah. It's They're junk. <laughs> you see what I mean? The guy's laughing. He knows I'm right. It's for my YouTube channel. Take care. Anyway, guys, so that's about it. Hope you have a nice evening, and uh, stay safe. Bye bye.